day to everyone so today's topic i am going to discuss about itt statements in that i am going to discuss about while loop in my previous video i have discussed about for loop so today in the continuation i am discuss i am going to discuss about while loop as i have mentioned already loops are used to execute same block of code for a specified number of times or until a condition is true so in today's topic while loop while loop will execute until a condition is true so while loop executes block of code until a condition is true so here the condition we have to mention if the condition is true then this code will whatever the code within this block will be executed so this is the flow chart of while loop while loop it starts test condition if the condition is false the block of statements will not enter directly it will end if the condition is true then the blue block of statements will execute finally until the condition is true say example like for loop here i have taken the same example that is i am using i equal to 1 i am declaring variable i equal to 1 and i becomes till 5 the loop executes the condition is 1 becomes 5 this block of statements will execute so i am just printing the value of i so first time it will come as 1 so 1 will be printing second time 2 3 4 5 here i have given equal to statements so 5 numbers will be printing so after that the condition becomes false the loop exits so another example here i have taken a sum of digits sum of digits in the sense 1 2 3 if you calculate 3 plus 2 plus 1 it becomes 6 so sum of digit it should give 6 values the 6 output so i am again i am checking the condition if x is greater than 0 x is 1 2 3 so it's a greater than 0 only so this block will execute now the process starts i am declaring m equal to x that is 1 2 3 modular operation 10 so modular will give remainder value that is 3 3 will come here sum already we mentioned as 0 0 plus m now becomes 3 remainder value 3 so again x divide by 10 divide by 10 will give quotient value that is 12 so 12 will go here again modular operation remainder 2 3 plus 2 5 then again divided by 12 divided by 10 1 so one modular operation 10 it gives 1 so 1 3 plus 2 plus 1 so finally result will come so again it's 0 the condition is 0 so the loop exits here so finally the sum of digits equal to 6 will be printing here so another example there is nested while loop so here i am using a value i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 3 and j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 3 within the loop i am giving another loop that is nested loop so j first it's 1 so i am printing both i and j so first i value is 1 j value is also 1 so first it will print 1 1 then the loop i am incrementing j plus plus so j will increment by 1 so i value is 1 but j value is 2 so 1 2 like that again it is less than or equal to 3 so third time it will come 3 again i value is 1 j value becomes 3 so the loop exits here comes the next time i value becomes 2 i plus plus i have given so i i becomes 2 2 again j, j equal to 1 i considered so 1 2 comma 1 will print next 2 2 2 3 again it will come out of this loop then again i equal i less than or equal to 3 so it's a 3 value 3 1 3 2 3 3 will print so this is the example of while loop thank you